Hey guys, I got a fun video for you. We're gonna hunt all 30 iridian slabs. We're gonna start off in Pandora, start at the drought. There's two slabs here. Now keep in mind, the map is really terrible, so it's gonna be hard to orientate it so you can completely understand where it's at. It's, it's just a bad map to show you, but I'm gonna do my best. We're gonna find these slabs, there are 30 of them. You cannot inspect these and translate them until after you've reached a certain point in the game towards the end. So don't worry if you can't do anything yet. Now there's a second one here in the droughts. It's going to be kind of on the far opposite side from the previous one. I'm gonna kind of show you from the the uh, fast travel point to the location it's at. That's kind of the best way I think to, to show you. All right, so that's number two. Now we are gonna go to Ascension Bluff here in Pandora. Again, we're just gonna do these in order from planet to planet, from region to region. So this one is way back up out here. Many of them are gonna be deep into a level. Most of them are gonna have one, some won't have any, but there's a few of the larger ones that will have two. So this one's right here, pretty easy to see if you're close by. They're all very easy to see, It's, I mean, it's blinking at you. All right, so we're going to go to Devil's Razor. There are two of them here. So from this uh, vast travel point, we are just going to... It's actually very close by. It's just to the right, right around the corner for the first of two. And this one's actually going to be in a cave. It kind of looks like a monster cave, which normally would just be kind of like a solid black wall that you can't go into. But this one you can go into. So go into that cave, translate that. Now the second one from that same Roland's... Uh, rest fast travel point. We're gonna actually go around the corner the other way. So this one's also very close to the fast travel point From the Roland's rest fast travel. There's two points in this map So that is number five the second one on the map Let's ho head over to the splinter land. So this is from the chop shop Point so we're just gonna go actually very close to it So you can see this one looks like it's off the map, but there's actually a cave that will take you to it. Now when you uncover the map with the blue, when the fog of war, when you turn everything from brown to blue, if you've uncovered all of the blue, then you will have revealed the icon on the map. Or right, so in Carnivora, big open driving area, but we're gonna drive over to this point here and we're gonna get out. So right on the side of the wall here be really easy to miss this one just because most of this uh, map is all just driving around. Alright, so the guts of the carn Carnivora, kind of the second part of that previous map, we're going to make our way all the way to the very far back here. This is going to be amongst a bunch of computer monitors right in the center. So only one on that map. Now we're going to head over to Conrad's Hold. So we're going to start at the the Comrades Hold Fast Travel Station. You're going to have to make your way all the way up and around, and then back here, there's this whole other side section. And in this loop, there's a side room that if we travel straight back, of course, you can see the Iridian Slab right in front of us. Next up is Cathedral of the Twin Gods. So from that fast travel point to start, there's only one point here. We're just going to make our way around, and then halfway through, there's going to be a little tunnel. So we're going to have to get off our, our vehicle if you're driving one, and then slide under, sprint, and then slide. And then you're going to have to make your way through this hole in the wall, and just follow it back, jump up, and it'll lead you right to this icon. So the final one on Pandora is going to be in Destroyer's Rift. So from the Destroyer's Rift Fast Travel Point, it's actually very close by, thankfully. And this one's actually going to be in a hole in the wall. I actually walked right past it twice before I realized. So we're just going to follow this one to the end, eventually get to the Iridian Slab. Once we've completed and found all 30 of these, we have to actually head back to Sanctuary and go back to the Infirmary. We'll get to that here in just a moment, though. All right, so now we're leaving Pandora. We're going over to Promethea, starting at the Meridian Outskirts, not too far from the entrance point there. We're just going to go inside this little building behind the curtain to reveal the slab. 
All right, so going over to the Meridian Metroplex. Uh, this is actually right next to the uh, the slab. So when you spawn in, it's going to be right next to you, about 20 feet away. Uh, the next location is going to ha you're going to access it from the Meridian Metroplex. Mer Meridian Le Metroplex has Electro City entrance point not far from that previous lab so once you're in here we're actually gonna have to go underground so we're gonna take the stairs right here underground go through the subway tunnel here and on the right side of this tunnel if you're coming from this direction you'll find it next up Skywell 27 so from the shuttle from our drop pod we're gonna make our way all the way through about halfway through, it's before you get down to the very bottom. I like this map just because you can jump higher with the gravity. So make your way through that little tunnel there and you will find the slab. All right, we're gonna go head over to the Atlas HQ. There's, for Richard, there's only one. So from the entrance, we're gonna have to make our way all the way up to the top. It's really hard to get the map, the camera, to show this high point here. So this would be near the end of what would have been this mission, of the main story mission path, rather. Again, a lot of these you're gonna have to come back to uh, because you will have already been through these parts of the game. You won't have access to reading the slab and translating them until uh, near the end of the game. So we're in the Neon Arterial. Make our way all the way to the end of this. Right before you get to the end, we are going to find the slab. This is going to be on the back side of a rock. Well, stone, I guess it's technically a rock. All right, heading over to Athena. So there's only two, uh, one map for this planet so we're just gonna go all the way back to that location there I believe you do have to fight a boss before you enter this this room if I'm not mistaken all right the floodmore basin there are two so from the fast travel point kind of in the middle of the map they're really up high on top of the mountain that's gonna just be just below it And there she is. Let's go ahead and translate that and move on to the second one in the same area. So from that same fast travel point, I'm just going to move my cursor here all the way to the left. If you have the same orientation of the map. Again, I didn't make the map, so don't yell at me. And that is number two. So we're going to head over to the anvil. The anvil has just won. We're at the fast travel point. It's real close to it. So as soon as you spawn in, you're going to find this cave. You're going to see some cars kind of blocking the entrance there. Come through here to the this little secret room. So heading over to Jacob's Escape. We're at the fast travel station here. Again, this one's actually pretty close too. When you spawn in, kind of make your way to the uh, this section over here. It's hard to say left or right because I don't know which way you're looking at the map. So the Voracious Canopy has one as well. So from that fast travel point, we're going to head kind of down instead of taking the path that goes up. And you're going to see a waterfall. Naturally, we're going to go through the waterfall to reveal a secret area. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Waterfalls will typically lead you to treasure if you go through them in any game, not just Borderlands 3. Okay, we're going to go to Ambermire. There's going to be two of them here. So from the Rogue's Hollow Fast Travel Station, I'm moving my cursor down. That Fast Travel Station is kind of in the middle of the map, which is kind of nice. I will then uh, fast travel back after I pick up this slab and go to the second one. And orientate the map so you can kind of see it there. And this is where the second slab is in this uh, map. So we got four more left, or five more left. Black Barrel Cellars is our next destination. So from that entrance point, we're going to make our way. You're going to see another one that looks like it's out of the map. But once again, it is technically not. Because there's a waterfall. And there's a secret passage. 
Not sure why this part of the map isn't filled in. But that is the slab. Let's translate that. And now we're going to head over to Necrotafeo, Desolation's Edge. There's two of them in this map. So from that fast travel point there, we're going to make our way around. Now you see this little skinny little path right there? We're going to squeeze our way through there. Now, this is actually tied to a quest. You're not going to be able to access this area. I forget the name of the side quest, but there is a side quest that you have to blow up an opening there and you'll make your way to this whole new area. And this is where the slab is. Again, just one of two in Desolation's Edge. Next one is going to be right up here. This is kind of the opposite side of that previous one. It's going to be on the back side of this wall. As you enter the room, you're going to have to go to your right and turn around and see this one. All right, two more. We got Tanzandir Runes, I think. That's how you say it. I like to call it tenderizer room runes but we're gonna make our way all the way to the far back up high you're gonna see two little side rooms inside this pool room uh, there's going to be a, a room to the left a room to the right go into the room to the right and we'll find the uh, slab translate this and we'll have just one more but then there'll have to be one more thing we have to do we have to actually get the trophy which spoilers is kind of glitchy all right so next up the pyre of stars uh, this is going to be in that location. It's pr it's about uh, a little more than halfway through this mission or through this uh, map. It's going to be on the back side of one of these stone columns here on the right. All right, so now that you've found all 30 of them, translated all 30 of them, again, you can't do it until much later in the game, you have to go back to Sanctuary. We're going to go back to the infirmary, and we're going to uh, interact and translate the text. Now, this is where it gets a little bug. Ideally, you should be able to just do it, and the trophy pops. But for some people, they're telling me that it's glitch, it's, it's buggy. Some people have just sat here and translated it a few times, uh, and it eventually worked. Others had to close the application and restart the game, and then it popped then. It popped for me, so I'm not concerned. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button, and of course, subscribe.